Welcome to this video in which we are going to compute the area of a surface. So let's see what we have. Given is the function fx is x to the power 3. And we are going to consider this function on the interval from 0 to 1. So here at the lower left you see a picture where in red we have the graph y is x to the power 3. And now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this graph around the horizontal axis. So as is indicated here in the graph. And then what you get is this, this kind of trumpet shape here. And if you look at this trumpet from a bit of a different angle, then you get the graph here on the right. So here we are looking at the top of it and it's a bit of a trumpet like. Now what we're being asked to do is to compute the surface of this trumpet. So Let's see, given is this equation here, so the surface area A, that's what we would like to compute, is 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1, and then we have f times the square root of 1 plus f prime squared dx. So we have to compute this integral, we have to find this integral. Now, let's look. f of x is x to the power 3. And you see that below the square root and in the integral, so here in this expression, we have 1 plus f prime squared. So we will be needing f prime. And if we differentiate the function, we get 3x squared. So 1 plus f prime x squared equals um, 1 plus 9x to the power 4. So let's plug this into the integral, into this expression here, and see what we get. So let's go to a new slide for that. And what we now find is that the area that we need to compute, so a, is 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1. And then we had fx, which is x to the power 4. And then the square root, 1 plus f prime squared. And we found on the previous slide that that is 9 times x to the power 4. This should, of course, be a 3. Sorry about that. Like this, dx. Now, if you recall from calculus, then this is an integral that you can do using substitution. So we need to do integration by substitution. And we are going to try u equals 1 plus 9x to the power of 4. And the reason for this is that then the whole square root becomes the square root of u. And if you compute the u dx, so just differentiating, you see that we get 9 times 4x to the power 3, which is 36x to the power 3. So apparently if we want to go from dx to du, then we have that du equals 36 x to the power 3 dx. And if you look back in the integral, then you see that we have an x to the power 3 dx in there. So that readily leads us to a du. So what we have now is that a equals 2 pi times the integral. And now I have to pay attention because the integral goes from 0 to 1, but that is in terms of x. Now, x equals 0 corresponds with u being equal to 1. Just plug in x equals 0. This term disappears, and we have u equals 1. And then if x equals 1, so the upper limit of the integral, I plug in 1 here for x, and you see that I have to integrate to 10. So we get the integral from 1 to 10 in terms of u. And then x to the power 3 
dx. That is the same as 1 over 36 du, according to this rule here. So we get 1 over 36 square root of u du. And then we're almost done. Because um, we have 2 pi over 36, that's the same as pi over 18. And then I have to find an antiderivative of the square root of u, which is of course u to the power of 3 over 2. And I have to put a 2 over 3 in front of that. And then in between u equals 10 and u equals 1. And then finally, if we plug in these values, you see that you get pi over, so 2 over 18 is 1 over 9, times 1 over 3 becomes 27. And then we have 10 times the square root of 10 minus 1. So that is the answer, that is the surface of this trumpet-like shape. That concludes this video, and I'll see you in the next one.